So Brett, do you think we should, I mean, you've, you've seen the show, you've, do you think Brett and I could do a little stand-up? Can anybody just do it? Yeah, I think, I think everyone is, is naturally funny. And, Give and us I, some tips. Well, I, I think that um, if you can be funny with your family and friends, uh, you can do stand-up. It's, being a stand-up comedian is, is really making a room of strangers your friends very quickly. And once they're your friend, you can say anything to them and they'll laugh. Like, you know, your, your friends will laugh at a stupid joke that you tell and they don't care. That's true. It is true. That's, uh, true. And yeah, that's a lot of next jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good. But, you know, it's just like, you know, if you have a, a room full of strangers, uh, you have to work a little harder because they don't know you. But once they like you, you can, you can do anything. Uh, so how do you make them like you? What's the secret? Here, um, we'll stand up and you can coach us from there. And you tell us how you are through, don't get up. Lost my mic. We're the, we're the stars, don't get up. Just coach us. Yeah, you're a coach. How, okay. how can I stand what to make someone like right? me better? Uh, well, should you have a drink or no? Because will the drink make you more relatable? Like, I drink too. Well, I mean, there, there's definitely an element to that. Um, I've seen comics come on stage with a beer and be like, hey, can I drink with you guys? It's just a, it's a matter of, of building a rapport. Do you guys drink coffee? Woo! We're we got them already. One for one. Next. <laughs> and once, I don't know, once you, once you kind of built a rapport, because you want to you uh, exhume confidence. You want to come out on stage like you're the most important person in the room and everyone should pay attention to you. Well, the cameras are on us, so yeah. they know to look at us. Well, yeah. There's two of us, though. Yeah. Well... You, it's just drawing attention to your act or to both of you. I mean, you can split the attention and then you'll be fine. It's just making people realize that you're worth their time. And so having a couple of funny gags off the bat to kind of to get them starting to laugh. And once, once they start laughing, they'll start to like you. And once they like you, you can talk about, you can start, talk about strangling women and, and the Holocaust. And, and you can talk about anything. Yet. We still have to get them to like us. So give us a gag that we can do for them to like us. Well, I, I like to start out with the, the joke about my name, um, how, I'm, how I'm actually Swedish and not British, uh, because it, it, they don't, it's almost like they don't see it coming. Like hey it's, guys, it's just I'm Swedish. Swedish. Well, you guys would have to find your own kind of clearing of the throat what are that you, you would have. Uh, <laughs> well, my last name is Johnson, and so if we're Swedish, then I'm Janssen. What would you be? I'm Dorman. Jorman. So Jorman. I'm Jorman. It's a soft D. <laughs> Okay, so we get our nationality now, down. Yeah, we got well, that. Well, you don't have to do nationality. It's just something about yourself to kind of like put on the table uh, to get people to like you. I mean, you can make a joke about your name. You can make a joke about how you look, how you look like Quentin Tarantino or, or something like that. Do, without the beard, I do. Yeah. How do, you, how do you find making movies? I like to have movies made when I'm making them. So now, but that's not comedy. Now we're doing an interview like yeah. this. Well, but he's not going to, the crowd, when you, the, you get on stage, the crowd is going to be like, so who are you? You just kind of have to tell them uh, in your own way and very qu quickly. He's, he's Nick. Okay, <laughs> no, well, no, he would, he, would, he would tell them who he is, not you. I, You're not, well, you would be introduced by somebody off stage, but it's, or, or the MC, but you okay. would have to. Go. Do you introduce us? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll just stand here. We'll, we'll, we'll try to put one together of the, the tips that you've given us so far. One, one at a time, or both at the... Ready, go. <laughs> Come to the stage now, Brett Dorman. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to throw it out there. My name is actually Brett Yorman. Because he's Swedish. Huh. Uh, cheers. Can, do you guys drink coffee? Woo! Because he does. Oh! oh. <laughs> we got to clean up. Clean up on aisle three. Um. Now, is this comedy? <laughs> so, my girlfriend left me. <laughs> she, I think you're a bad teacher, Nigel. This. Do we have a, do we have a towel? Just looks pathetic. Here, give me, any, Here, give me that stuff right there. <laughs> what if you don't have a stage crew? My, my aids fell off yesterday. <laughs> oh, no. You guys. Actually, I think he's doing very well. I think he's, uh... Is he? Yeah, How it's... People relate to it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh... Do you guys ever notice when you're driving and you sneeze? And you're gonna... Shoot! And you, you can't see. 
Well, okay. If you're going well, to do a grade for, um, his, first for his first attempt, um, A plus. Really? Yes. I did it. Yeah. Woo! High five. I'm impressed, Brad. I didn't know you. What had are your comedy done. tips for cleaning messes? Because like, <laughs> I know you have to leave this. Part <laughs> Using your pants? Still gross. <laughs> I'm gonna sit back down. Okay. I'm gonna continue the interview while you caution one way. While you clean. It's already clean. No, it's not. Here, if I if I go like this, it looks like I'm, I'm doing sex acts on you. People will find <laughs> Is that, that funny. Stand up. Sure. I mean, well, like that's needle, that's the thing. I mean, it's there, there's kind of like a division where there's kind of very traditional classic stand up that that's Seinfeldian. Something around so much. Seinfeldian. And then there's. Uh, more the alternative comedy like a Patton Oswalt or a Zach Galifianakis where it's it's less about the, the irony or the punchline, it you kinda makes fun of song? comedy itself. I, I have seen that's that new kind of style of, of comedy mm -hmm. as opposed to just did you ever notice uh, when airline yeah. peanuts are Funny, yeah, any but if traditional. If you're proud to like you enough, then they'll laugh at anything. So yeah, you can exactly, do that, so. and and which is why all comedy has, has become popular is that they've they've still tapped into the elements that make a, sec a successful comedian. They just use a different formula to get their laughs. Whereas an older comedian will use an observation. They'll use truth, or they'll use irony. And upon um, a, a newer comedian will will kind of take that expectation and then and then turn it around, and so it, it gets the same unexpected unexpected uh, response. Surprise. 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 You were expecting that.